Greetings my friends, Reformed Stoic here with another video for you. I've been facing a little bit of creator's block. It's been about eight days since I've released a video. And I was thinking about a few different videos I could make, like what happens when you lose your momentum in life, or your life stopped, now what? Or even men aren't making milestones men aren't meeting milestones, but why not kind of touch over all of those topics with a super attention grabber clickbait title relevant to what's happening now that pretty much encompasses all of that. Why are men leaving society? Nobody's leaving society, incel. You're the only person leaving society. Touch grass. Who said that? <laughs> okay, well, unknown detractor, um, <laughs> this is off to a great start. Well, unknown detractor, I will say that this is relevant to my experience. People who watch my streams probably know that. But um, I'm getting the idea that I'm getting more than just an idea that a lot of men are going through that. What we have to work with is the Hill statistic. Yes, it's still relevant. I imagine we're only going to get greater statistics soon that support this data. 63% of men 19 to 29 are single and only 32% of women in the same age bracket are single. Wow, devastating. Wow, we've been over this before, but let's get at it from another angle. <laughs> okay, so ultimately, I think men are losing their momentum and not making milestones. That was two of the other title ideas that I had. Um, men aren't making milestones. What happens when you lose your momentum in life? So let's talk about what happens when you lose your momentum in life. It puts you into this like living dead phase is what I, is what I want to call it. It's like when you go too long without making milestones, you basically like become the living dead. You don't want to try anymore. You're not putting your best foot forward. You get this just flip it attitude. Okay, Christian channel, try not to swear. You get this just flip it all attitude where it's like, you know what, man? I'm already so far behind that I might not, e I might as well not even try anymore because trying hurts and it takes effort and it brings me back to that time where like I was working at an ice cream shop. It's like, man, I don't ever want to work in an ice cream shop again. Why did I work at an ice cream shop in the first place when I was 22? Well, I was still young. I still felt like I had my entire life ahead of me. And I felt like it was a stepping stone that was going to get me to better places. But now it's like, oh, you're 32 and you're working at an ice cream shop and the women... The women who I worked with back then didn't want to date me, and they're certainly probably not going to want to date me now, you know? And just kind of throwing it in there, I feel like there was a time, like in the 80s, you know? You could be like a cool 32-year-old guy in the 80s, and you know, maybe this is just in my head, but I have a feeling it's not. In the 70s or 80s, you could be this kind of like douchebag 32-year-old guy who on paper hasn't really got anywhere in life, but oh man, you got a car and it's probably like a piece of shit car, but you act like it's not. You know, you, you have some car and you act like it's a cool car and you wear like white tees and you chew tobacco and you can probably like hook up with your 22 year old work partner at the ice cream shop. Cause that's how it was in the seventies and the eighties, dang it. At least that's kind of how I feel it probably was. That's not how it is now. I can tell you my experience now, Chuds, is that's not how it is now. When you're 32 and you work at an ice cream shop, your, your coworker doesn't think you're cool, okay? It doesn't matter if you have a piece of crap car, because why would she think your piece of crap car is cool? And it doesn't matter if you wear white tees and work out. She wants the 24-year-old Zoomer who's going to college and has cute pretty boy, pretty boy Zoomer hair and is on Instagram and, and probably is going somewhere with his life. And he's probably going somewhere with his life because his parents were rich and supportive. 
Now, that person that interjected earlier is probably like, you're just going on a negative incel rant. None of this is based in reality. There's a chance that that's true. <laughs> There's a very small chance that, 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 that that's true. But if you want to continue on with the video, if you want to continue on with my rant, this is all theory, okay? Science is about hypotheses, theories, for this to become a theory, I would have to test it. And I have tested my th my hypothesis by living this life. And I would safe to say that this is like a theory in my little scientific experiment of my failed life, if you will. But I haven't failed yet. I'm still going. Um, my theory is that men are graduating high school. And they probably had a horrible time in high school, by the way. Terrible time in high school. I had a terrible time in high school. And then you go to college or whatever it is you're going to do next in life and it doesn't meet your expectations. You know, you watched um, Superbad and it was like, oh, dude, everybody gets laid in college. And then it's like, oh, man, I didn't get laid in college or I didn't have that much fun in college or I didn't graduate college. Or if you're like me, I didn't graduate a really expensive music school and now I'm thousands of dollars in debt and I don't have a degree in I not have a degree in music, which is like, even if I did have a degree, that probably still be struggling. So you didn't meet your expectations, and then, you know, you're covered in some dirt, and you got some scars. It's like, okay, I'm 22, I don't have a degree, or I do have a degree, and it's a worthless degree, or I got laid, or I didn't get laid, and I don't have a degree, or I have a worthless degree. You're not where you wanted to be, but you're still young, and you still got some HP. Didn't we already go over this? Like, you have a health meter... And then when you're out of HP, then it's like you're dead. Yeah, so you still have some HP. And then for me, it was like, okay, I'm going to try to play in bands and work at an ice cream shop. And then I was a busboy and do these other things. And kind of just like see how my music career goes out. How my music career goes. Well, it kind of seemed like it was going somewhere. And all in all, I should have stayed in that area and you know tried to make something else happen because that wasn't happening but anyway this isn't supposed to be all about my experience but i'm drawing heavily from my experience that didn't go well either so then i moved somewhere else when i'm 24 and then by that point it's like i'm starting to panic a little bit i'm starting to feel like i'm drowning and then and then here's something else that i can add here is like you have this like one extra gasp of breath you know it's kind of like when you think the villain's dead in the horror movie you know like you stabbed him in the face with a pitchfork but somehow he's still alive that that's where you get okay you're like jason Voorhees, and life has stabbed you in the face with a metaphorical pitchfork and everybody thinks you're dead because you probably should be <laughs> and then you get this one extra grasp of air one extra gasp of air, which was, for me, was trying to be a rapper, okay? Let's just, yeah, go ahead, laugh it up. For me, it was trying to be like, oh, man, I think I can be a rapper. And then when that inevitably doesn't go right, then it's like, okay, now you're, like, more than dead. Because you should have already, like, been demoralized and given up on life. That's, like, your last delusional effort to do anything. And then you're 27 going on 30 because by that point life is just shooting by and um then it starts to get rough man and then it's like i haven't been laid in years i've never had a serious relationship i don't have a degree i'm thousands of dollars in debt um the people like looking at my life are perceiving as are perceiving this as like he's failed everything that he's tried and that's really not true because for me, it was like, I'm trying to make it in music when I'm in Kodiak, Alaska, and I didn't graduate from the school that I went to. And I'm just, I keep trying to make the best of a bad situation. And then the bad situation keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And I definitely blew it a couple of times along the way. All the while missing a couple of life affirming experiences, you know, like there's probably a couple of times when I could have gotten laid when I was all wrapped up in my shitty job, I'm sorry, my crappy job, or there was actually a couple of like music opportunities that I had that I lost because I was wrapped up in my crappy job. So it's like you're trying to make things work and then sometimes life is just like passing you by while you're trying to make things work. And ultimately, 
this is just a big rant so I could fill up time when really all that there is to say is like you missed milestones and you don't want to try anymore because you're bitter and I made a lot of videos in the past on my old channel they're like a lot of them are privated now and a lot of it's just not even available anymore but I had multiple videos on the bitterness because it's this topic that has come up over and over and over and I've named it a, num a number of different things and ultimately once you've reached the bitterness that's when you become the walking dead that's when your HP is gone and that's where I think all these men are it's like bro I know a guy who like dated his high school sweetheart and they got married and they had kids already they were already having kids at 22 and then you know you could try to look at life through their shoes it's like well you know maybe they like had dreams that they gave up on so they could live this more simple life and there's probably a time where they're jealous of you because they thought that you know you were living this big life but probably what happened is eventually it became apparent oh he's not living this big life everything blew up in his face and he and he like said a bunch of cringe stuff on Facebook and he lost all of his friends and yikes I'm really glad I'm not that guy that probably happened eventually so men aren't making their milestones now what about losing your momentum well you lose your momentum when a lot of things go wrong and ultimately losing your momentum is like how can I relate losing your momentum to this when a bunch of stuff goes wrong hurry up and get to the next thing <clears throat> don't sit around and be like man I just I kind of need some time off to think okay that's about the time it's gonna start sinking in that like you blew it and then that's prob probably what you're gonna realize in like three or four months is like oh man I should be a rapper okay what's gonna happen is the first couple of months you're gonna be like wow I massively blew my life like it did not go right at all and I should probably like take a deep breath and pull up my pants and get a big boy job and try to start digging myself out and then like a couple of days after that you're gonna be like actually I'm gonna try to be a rapper I'm gonna go to Hollywood and actually I'm gonna be ten times as famous as I originally thought I was gonna be you see to avoid all of that just the, th the first part like the b b part before you think you're gonna be ten times as famous as you thought you're gonna be when you blew it the, the thing that sucks, okay? Around the time you're 24 and everything in your life has gone wrong and you're starting to think, wow, a lot of people would probably lose their mind about now and start getting bitter and becoming the walking dead or maybe trying to get their second wind and being delusional. This is literally what happened in my life. This is all the experience of my life and I'm 32 now and I don't know how I'm ever gonna fix my life. I want this video to help somebody, okay? I want all my videos to help somebody but this is like a super relevant viral name and we're killing it right now. I just want this video to help some people, dude. When you're 24 and everything in your life blew up in your face, you're where I wish that I could go back to, okay? Because I could fix my life at that point. A lot of things have gone wrong by then, buddy, and you've, and you've been sexually frustrated basically ever since you were 14, basically 10 years of sexual frustration and failure and disappointment. Take a deep breath and get a job. Try to like, you, you probably can leverage some sort of opportunities because it was like four months in. Cause you know, while I was becoming delusional and, and saying I was gonna be a rapper, I also told everybody in my life to go fuck themselves. I'm sorry I had to swear for that to make its impact. I told everybody, like, yeah, man, you guys suck, and you guys were crappy to me, but guess what? It doesn't matter, because I'm going to be a big, famous rapper. Dude, I burnt all my bridges, and I doubled down, and doubling down is exactly what it sounds like, dude. If you lose after you double down, eh, eh, that's exactly where I am, dude. I've basically tripled down at this point and lost, and you guys... I'm still going to do the thing that I should have did when I was 24, is you take a deep breath, and you do something that's not mystical and magical and oh my gosh, I'm gonna prove everybody wrong and be some big famous hot shot. It's like, find something that's better than minimum wage, okay? Your, your parents, your friends, the bridges that you haven't burnt yet. 
there's some sort of an opportunity for you. There's got to be, because you've probably already worked some minimum wage jobs and you don't have like this big gap in your work history, okay? And I'm not saying this is going to work, bro, because there might be a, a step that I never discovered where you try that and a few years go by and you're barely staying afloat or you're barely saving any money and then you decide that it's not worth it. Because there's people out there who experience that, bro, but all I can really say because this video is not really about giving advice, it's about explaining why men are leaving society. This is your last, when you're 24 and everything's gone wrong and you're about to be like, I need some time to think and that's when you lose your mind, bro. That's when the process begins. That's when you realize you're gonna go zombie mode. That's when you realize you're out of momentum. That's when you realize you're out of HP and that's when you realize you wanna give up on life and leave society. Before any of those thoughts can sink in, I'm gonna work at a factory. I'm gonna fucking get on Vyvanse and work at a factory or just just get in there, dude, and work. And Because you're still 24, you're still young, there's still gonna be some dumb girl who thinks you're cool and like gives you life-affirming sex experiences, dude. And I'm sorry that I don't sound like a Catholic for any of this video, but it's like, I'm down bad, boys. I'm down bad. I'm 32, I've lived a lot of experiences. Um, I wanted to say something about like, tradition and the family career and like this is how you end up here in the first place dude for the record i'm from this town where there's all these fishing families okay and all these people like know that they're gonna fish during high school a lot of them start in middle school bro a lot of people are learning how to fish in middle school i'm talking like commercial fishing like salmon saning or pot cutting or whatever all these different fishing jobs, working on a boat. They start in middle school, and then by the time they're in high school, there's some like in shape, badass fisherman guy. They're making money, they're driving a truck, they're getting girlfriends, they're having life affirming experiences, and then they go all in. They don't even plan to go to college, or maybe they like fish for a few years and then pay for their own college. Dude, all the people I know that like didn't get sucked into like drugs and alcohol too hard because a lot of these people did get sucked into drugs and alcohol and it's like okay let me go to rehab for a few months okay let me just take a deep breath and take some time off and get off of drugs you even have a little bit of elbow room to screw up dude like people who didn't like really 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 screw up they fished for years they had life affirming experiences and girlfriends and good times and friends and then if you're if you got some brains, which all kinds of people here do, bro. I'm sorry that I threw my town under the bus and said that nobody here's smart. There's all kinds of people here who are smart. Cuz that's what I'm saying right now. Some of these people who fished and were smart, they use their money to get to the next point in their life. They start a business. I know a guy who like kept a certain percentage of the fish he caught on his own boat and then opened up his own like fish selling business and it's like going great and he's like a business owner and he still fishes or my dad he fished and bought some property and got into real estate and worked for a real estate company and now he owns his own real estate company i mean the point is is that the family thing the family trade which i feel is like a lost art that's been replaced with you can be whatever you want to be follow your dreams the sky's the limit bro First of all, like, what are your dreams? What do you want to do? You want to be a rapper? You want to be a musician? Because, bro, that's pretty much a privileged lane at this point. No disrespect. The people I met in Boston at Berkeley College of Music who, like, it made sense for them, they come from rich families, dude. And it was like, oh, yeah, you know, you're going to go to Berkeley and you're going to graduate no matter what, and we're going to help you get wherever you're going. And that's a lot of dreams. Like, a lot of your dreams... If you really want to chase your dream, get money first. It would have been smart for me, but I didn't have that fishing upbringing here. But it doesn't matter, dude. To get into fishing and to make money here and then use that to try to keep my dream afloat. And I kind of tried that and it didn't and it didn't go well. I quit a boat and like everybody shit on me. And that's when I got pissed off and bitter. And that's when I like shit back on everybody and then lost all my connections and burnt all my bridges and everything. Things did not go well for me. That's been established. So why are men dropping out of society? Because it's not working out. And all these little gems throughout, like 
They didn't keep the family trade, okay? Chances are, whatever your dad did that got him a wife, that got him married, that fed his family, you could have got into that. And that would have worked out for you. Really good chance. Um, or your dream was stupid, or you're one of these people who like just got depressed and didn't graduate. That was not me. I couldn't graduate because of money. Like, people are losing their momentum, not making milestones. Why is that happening? Because it's harder, because of inflation, because of Instagram. Bro, do you realize like how you can just like open up Instagram and like follow a bunch of Insta thoughts and be like, wow, look at all these hot women who I'm not sleeping with. And they're just like rubbing it in everybody's face, how hot they are, dude. It is a hard time. These are hard times. And a lot of guys, are just tired of not getting it. They're not getting what they want out of life. And the longer that, like, the longer that you go not getting what you want, people are also looking at you like, what's wrong with you, dude? And, and you're lazy and you have the wrong attitude and you suck. So it's like, I'm not getting what I want in life. And then people are also like, dude, you suck because you're not getting what you want in life. And then you're like, well, I'm dealing with so much stress from one, not getting what I want, two, people judging me for not getting what I want, me feeling guilty from not getting what I want, and then the stress of like burning bridges and lashing out, you know, you just give up, you just fold. HP, maxed out, living dead, no momentum, bitterness. So that's pretty much all there is to say about it, you guys. You know, this is the standard 22 minute format. Um, I'm praying for you guys, dude, and I'm praying for myself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, please help all of us lost men find our way in this society. I'm sorry for the times that I didn't trust in you. I'm sorry for the times that I cursed you. I'm a wretched sinner. We all are. Please have mercy on us, and please guide us toward wherever it is that we need to go to get back on track. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I really hope it works out, chuds. I really hope it works out for all of us. Because it's not looking good, but we'll see. Try to stay optimistic. Those are my thoughts for you. That's my little rant. That's my little video for you now. Hopefully somebody enjoyed it. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.